Alrighty, I'm going to show you how to do a mail merge using Streak within Gmail. This assumes that you know something about Streak, uh, but not an awful lot. Um, anyways, it's, it's a relatively easy thing to do. Um, firstly, what you do uh, is you've got to create a CSV spreadsheet, that's a comma separated spreadsheet, with all the fields you want to import. And you've also got to include two other fields, stage and notes. Um, so you can put in whatever fields here you want, um, but obviously you'd want the person's name. I like to copy by their first name, so I have name, which is their full name, so I can reference it later and know what their surname is. But first name is a useful field for emails. Company name, job title, telephone, and email. Um, and don't worry about keep leave those two blank. They have, these names have to match exactly the names on the pipeline that you've created over here. You see that you have got name, company name, job title. You can't just have company. You've got to have company name if that's the field that you, that's, that's the name of the field over here. If you just call this company, then it would be fine to have company over here, but they have to match. Um, now you'll notice actually that I've got no first name in the field over here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here next to name, and I'm just going to go um, insert column, free form, and in here I'm just going to write first name. Alright, that's done. Um, now I'm actually ready to import. Um, as we can see, if we scroll along here, we see the I've got the um, stage and notes and email and all the other columns that I've had in the in the spreadsheet. Right, so now we go off to more. Over here, you can choose to import boxes from CSV. Uh, now this is regarded as a box. Each line is a box. So basically, it's going to convert each of your contacts with all their details and create a separate box for each one. So we're going to import boxes from CSV, and it says, uh, or choose file, you can drag and, drag and drop, or just choose file. I've created a, a test one over here, with just those few details that I showed you earlier. Importing the boxes, verifying, and now it's telling you which um, fields it's actually matched. Name, stage, notes, first name, which is good, I've just created that. Company name, job title, telephone, email. That looks like all of them, and I'm going to say start import. And then once imports complete, you can see it's got all the names of those people and their companies and everything. Now we're going to choose the recipients we want to email. So we can either click there and just do all of them. Actually, it'll just be those ones there. Uh, or just click the one by one. There's no way to sort of click one and then shift click to make a group. It's, you have to do them one by one or all of them, which is a bit silly. But anyway, we've got all of these things here. Now we go off to more. And we go to more and it says send mass mail mail merge and that's what we're going to do click on that down here it says continue with mail merge good let's continue and now you can see it brings up a sort of a new message window with extracted emails on the left here and a blank over here on the right the first thing we're going to do is actually compose our email so in the subject we're going to write videos for sale okay there we go hello and that now we want to put a person's name. We want to put a first name, what I would want to. Uh, I'm going to, instead of doing the forms email, because it's not from an email, it's from, from a box rather than from an email. So we go first name, hello, first name, comma. I see you work for, and insert again, we're going to put company name, company name. Um, I love that company. This isn't something you should uh, write to your clients. I love that company. Um, uh, is your job title? Um, job title? Question mark. Um, if so, uh, please give me a call. Um, Regards, Mark. Okay, and, and we could insert any of the fields that we wanted to have over there. Um, but yeah, that's that's that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to because we want to send this off again and again. So, for example, this is a letter that I'm going to be using over a period of time. I want to do what's called creating a snippet. We're going to create a new snippet from the current message, and now that is going to mean that every time that I want to uh, do a mail merge like this, I don't have to type this whole thing out again. I'll just reuse the same one. So I'm going to create a new snippet from the current message and see over here it's brought a new message th thing here. It's asking for a name of this snippet. So we'll say uh, video to tutorial uh, snippet. 
insert the snippet when I type over here we have a key word um, so if, say for example I type in the word um, gonzo right when I type the word gonzo in it's going to just bring up the snippet um, and it's just a nice shortcut instead of typing out or going here to import it we can just type in a keyword um, don't worry about the pipeline everything else is fine I've left auto complete on save the snippet and there it is there video tutorial snippet you can click on it to bring it up here and say done and now you'll notice if you click on any of these emails like this one here it fills in those fields right um, now the next thing to do is just to push send Boom, send. Mail merge happening, one and five. That's pretty much that. Now, once all that's done, you can have a look at the boxes that I've got here. So, for example, to this guy over here, Mr. Alex, if I click on that, it shows the email that, that I've sent to him. Um, so, over here, it's got the exact email that I've sent. Um, if he responds to me, it's going to show up here as well. So, that's going to be fantastic that all the stuff that I sent by, by sort of mail merge, when, when they reply, I'm going to get responses directly over here, uh, which is really excellent. Um, let me go back there, and um, you can see there's my. I go back to my pipeline. Um, so there are all my contacts there that I've sent stuff to, and there are the boxes I just got into the box over there, and I can write notes about them. I can. There's a bunch of stuff I can do, but that's for a separate, uh, a separate point. And that is that.